Hey guys, I'm out here getting my walk on. Okay, so I think I'm about to give me a gym membership. Ooh, that sweat child. I think I'm about to give me a membership somewhere, maybe like the Y. Um, I was just on the phone with my, one of my good girlfriends and we were just talking about it. Because it's trying to get too hot to be out here walking, honey. And not done sprayed on some suntan, uh, some sunscreen, but still. Anyway, we're going into the, you know, the heavier months of summer. And I can't be out here sweating like crazy. I think I'm nailed and popped off. Ooh, anyway. So, this is what I want to talk about. Because y'all know how I be walking and I be thinking, honey. So, I was just thinking, like about just different you know different relationships i've had not, not just you know not just um romantic ones just relationships with people in general you know sometimes you gotta evaluate you know your circle your life who you got around you who you entertaining and whatever and who you allowing to entertain you shit so i got to thinking and stuff and i'm like you know when it comes to like drama and stuff like that Sometimes people think being chaotic and dramafied, it's always based around being argumentative and starting drama and starting shit and arguing and shit like that. Or he say, she say, no, actually, sometimes being dramafied and chaotic, it can be pretty much in the way you move, the way you handle shit, the way you do things. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, for instance, what I mean by that is... Being drama fat can be you being a liar, you trying to manipulate people or gaslighting people, um, trying to make people think that, you know, trying to make people think one thing and then really it's something else. Like, you know, playing with people's emotions, um, shit like that. Lying and making some, making a person believe you one way, but you're really another way. Like taking your right hand Taking your right hand, putting it in their face and showing them this. Showing them one way about you. But really, why that left hand is over there doing some other shit that is contradictive to what the right hand is doing, if that makes sense. Like, basically just being a manipulative person. Making somebody believe you one way, but you really hold another way. You know, person, you ain't what you see ain't what you get. You know what I'm saying? You that kind of person. But, and I'm saying I have to say that you know what, honey, I'm glad I keep a so small social circle, and I don't say that to diss nobody, I ain't mad at nobody, um, I keep my, so my circle small, because it seems like it keeps down less shit, um, I don't really, I, I it's like I got pe people, I got females that I may get with and go hang out with, and we go do stuff or whatever, go got to eat go catch up go get drinks and stuff like that but i don't really have nobody that i talk to on a regular basis like every day i mean hell we ain't got time to be doing that are we working we don't taking care of business shit i don't want to be on the phone every day with nobody i guess i can call myself a low maintenance kind of friend you know i'm not one of those friends that need a lot of attention i don't need to talk to you every single day um shit we can talk through text a lot of my friends we talk through text <laughs> and um i don't know i just don't require a lot i wasn't always like that though i used to be the kind of friend that felt like we gotta talk at least once or twice a week or if not you know i'm like damn you know what i'm saying oh she ain't even called me i don't even think like that no more not at all <laughs> i don't know it's like i still care about people and i still care that they're doing okay but I don't really care to have that everyday type of interaction with nobody. I don't know. But, um, but yeah, and I don't care to be friends with nobody else's friends. Uh, and I say that because, I don't know, like, again, I feel like just because I'm friends with you don't mean I got to be friends with your other friends and vice versa. Just because me and you friends and we hang out don't mean that you got to be friends with my other friends i mean and because sometimes shit just don't work like that and i don't really always be putting people together and oh you know 
let's do a big old girls trip i mean i've done those and it's cool but i'm kind of over that shit now too <laughs> i don't know like i'm just cool on that um i don't know man i just kind of keep people separate i deal with who i deal with how i want to deal with them you know uh if me and one friend we hang out you know i hang out with another friend or whatever now don't get me wrong i don't mind if my friends are cordial towards each other you know what i'm saying like if we're at a function all for the benefit of you know if it's something i got going on like i'm getting married or something or birthday party whatever yeah i expect for my girls to be there and you know they can be cordial with each other and get along but everybody ain't gotta turn out to be best friends or no shit so that's where i'm at with it that's where i'm at in my relationships with people um I ain't trying to be cool with nobody's ex-boyfriend or nobody's, you know what I'm saying? I'm just staying out the way, shit. I guess that's how I can say it. I stay out the way. Because, um, you know, I just don't like mess and chaos and drama. And like I said, sometimes mess, chaos, and drama don't have to come in the form of arguments all the time. It could just be the way you move. Sometimes you can make somebody feel uncomfortable by, you know, hanging out with somebody they used to fuck with or... um you know, or just, you know, trying to, you know, make a connection with their old enemy or whatever, or their enemy or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, so, um, but yeah, be careful of people who, um, try to, you know, gaslight situations or make you think, you know, you crazy or whatever or something wrong with you. Because sometimes it's just them being manipulative as fuck. Um, or, you know, sometimes, you know, some, 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 and sometimes, you know, messiness ain't always with girls. Sometimes men can be messy as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Being two-faced with women, you know, lying to one bitch, telling her one thing, and then going to another girl, telling her another thing. You know, that that's messy and chaotic. Or, you know what I'm saying? And, and it don't matter how old the man is either. Sometimes... Men in their 30s, 40s, and 50s be on bullshit. You know, sometimes you be thinking because you got an older dude. You got a more mature, settled dude. Sometimes, girl, by that older man. The man in the, I'm starting to notice men in their 50s. Child. I don't know if them motherfuckers going through a midlife crisis or what. But, baby, they be on bullshit. Okay? I be like, what the fuck? You, didn't you play these kind of games in your 20s? Bruh. So... <laughs> Yeah. be full of chaos and drama <laughs> be lying and shit child please and you know trying to be the lie detector all the time and trying to figure shit out all the time sometimes that's like a second job <laughs> one of my girlfriends was like girl bye that's like a second fucking job <laughs> so um but yeah Whew. this walk feels so good I have decided I have to adopt a different lifestyle a new lifestyle you know incorporating physical fitness more into my days um just going back to what i did during the pandemic because during the pandemic i lost like 25 pounds i was very um what's the word i was very disciplined i was very disciplined i was very consistent and see at the time i didn't have no distractions because you know we was on lockdown we weren't going nowhere i wasn't going out to eat I wasn't buying like, you know what I'm saying, sweets all the time and shit. I was really focused on losing weight. And then, you know, I slipped into some slipped back slipped back into my old ways and gained all this weight back or whatever. So now here I am, trying to lose it again. I never thought weight would be an issue for me. You know, I was never a person that had weight issues when I was growing up. I never really did. I didn't start having weight issues until 2017. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to get this shit off, honey. And I hate when people act like just because you want to lose weight. Some people try to act like, you know, when you want to lose weight or something, that you know you not, you're not happy with yourself. Or you, you, and you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like when people think that just because you get hair added or you do stuff to your hair, that you must be ashamed of your, of your own hair. That's not even the fucking case. I had a dude ask me one time, like, how come y'all women always want to add stuff to yourself? And I'm like, sometimes it's just for fun and variety. 
Like for me, I like doing different shit with my hair all the time. People tell me all the time, oh, you got all that pretty hair. Why you be wearing wigs and weave? Because I get bored. Shit, I get bored with my fucking hair. But um, by no means am I ashamed of my hair. Hell no. I like fun and variety. So, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's why is different. So when it come to want to lose weight, just because somebody want to lose weight don't mean they fucking got it low. Got, you know, got, uh, oh, don't worry about your weight, girl. You don't need to worry. What the fuck you mean don't worry about my weight? I want to be comfortable. And just because I'm trying to lose weight don't mean I don't like myself. I love myself, which is why I'm trying to fucking lose weight. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just let yourself go. People are just so, I don't know. But then when you sit up and get fat as fuck and gain a lot of weight, people want to talk about you. And just because you want to lose weight don't mean, oh, I want to lose weight because I care about what people think of me. I'm so ashamed because people be talking about me. No. I just want to lose fucking weight because I know I need to. The fuck? So I don't know. I'm doing, I'm, I want to lose weight for me, not for nobody else. Not because I give a fuck about nobody, you know, saying I done gain weight. Hell, I feel, I feel like, hell, we all done gain weight. If you in your 40s, shit. A lot of us have. But, um, look like shit like this. Walking and breathing all hard and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of shape. <laughs> shit. I need to lose some weight. <laughs> I need to be in shape, baby. Now, I don't want to get too small. I still want to keep my, you know, same curves and shit. Because I am a grown-ass woman. And I want to look like one. So, I can't be trying to have the body I had when I was in high school or no shit like that. No. Motherfuckers be wondering what's going on with me. If I get that damn small again at this age. But, yeah, I just want to, you know, have a... just want to feel, you know, I, I feel sluggish and shit right now. Because cause of the weight. So, people just always got something to say. Like, when you want to lose weight... <laughs> Don't be worrying about your weight, girl. You fine just like you are. But then when you look fat as fuck, damn, you see how they want to talk behind your back. Look, see how much weight she done gained, girl. Girl. So it's just like, whatever. But um, I'm doing what I have to do for me, darling. Not for you. Or not for which, not for you, not for your mama and them. I'm doing it for me, okay? So, um, yeah. Whew, okay. Think I done rambled enough, child. <laughs> so let me get my ass off of here and finish this walk. I think I'm about to listen to some music or something. All right, y'all. Y'all continue to have a good day. All right, peace. <laughs>